Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am happy today to be doing um, the fourth installment in my Fave 5 series that I'm doing with some really awesome Indianapolis bloggers. Uh, this week I am collaborating with Ashley of Fashionately Me. All her information will be below, so definitely, definitely, definitely check her out. Today we are doing blush, our Fave 5 blushes, and I know that she has definitely a different type of skin color than me. She's more dark and olive, so she's gonna have different recommendations. I can guarantee we don't have any similar, well we might have similar, we don't have any overlapping blushes, I'm sure. And if we do, definitely buy that one because I'm sure it'd be an awesome one. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my favorite five. The first one I'm gonna start with is the only cream blush that I'm going to show you guys, and it is by Bobbi Brown. It is her Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. You can use these on the lips. I find them a little drying to be on the lips, but the perfect formula for the cheeks. I have two colors here that I wanted to show, but my favorite is definitely this one. It's powder pink. It is a dusty rose, definitely a little bit of a brown in there. I find this really looks like a flushed color that I get, so I find it to be really natural. I like to wear it a lot in the summer, um, but I also like to put it on and then layer other blushes over it. It just helps to make sure my cheeks stay flush all day. My second favorite blush is probably in the ugliest packaging possible. I don't know what Benefit was thinking with this packaging. I really wish they would redo it. I would probably go out and purchase it right away because I hate this packaging. It's super, it's not attractive. It's what's inside that counts though, right? And what's inside this box is so beautiful. Um, first of all, it smells like roses and I love rose scented things. So I really like that. It's a nice rosy color, but it does have kind of a coral touch to it and it's just beautiful. I highly recommend this for any skin tone. The next product I'm going to show you guys is um, a London based brand. It's Anyway or Makeup Academy. I know that here in the US we do have some Makeup Academy products. I think that at CVS there are some and some brushes and things like that, but I haven't seen these in the US yet. I got them on my honeymoon and I really love them. They are so teeny tiny. like. This is the packaging and I love it. It's so easy for travel or just throwing in your bag. Um, I got a few of the colors, but the one that I really love the most is the one called Cupcake. This product is only a pound, so for the money, you're definitely getting your you're definitely getting your money's worth. I think that it's really well pigmented and just looks really pretty on the cheeks. The next product is probably my newest addition to these blushes. The other ones I've been using for quite a while. Um, but this one is the Hourglass Ambient Blush Palette. The reason I feel hesitant to mention this is because it was limited edition, but I know that you can probably still find it some places online. I definitely know that this color here, Mood Exposure, which is my favorite from the palette, is available to purchase at Sephora or wherever you purchase Hourglass from. And then, but the reason I wanted to mention the palette specifically is because I like to mix all three of these colors together and it just makes a really pretty glowy look because they're all, you know, kind of iridescent and beautiful. And then the last of my favorite blush is, uh, yep, Tarte. Tarte just does really great blushes and Fun fact is that I don't have any full-size Tarte blushes. A few of my favorite colors are Stellar and Prim. You may look at them and think those are probably basically the same color, and they almost are. You're probably pretty right there. Um, but the one called Stellar is the one that I'm wearing today. I use it more like a contour than like a blush, which I would apply up here. I usually apply this down a little lower. It is like a one-stop shop. You don't need to wear blush, a different blush, or a bronzer. With this stuff, it all just, it works together. It's definitely pretty brown, but it has a little bit of like a pinky rose running through it. And then my other favorite, which I usually keep in my makeup bag for like travel and things like that, is um, Prim. And I bought the foursome from last year, mainly because this was in it. But I love Tarte blushes. You can go ahead and just buy one of them regularly, but I love buying them. 
um, in these sets. I didn't buy this year's. I thought that might be a little too over the top, but I think I had a few of them that are in this one, so I just didn't do it. But they're really, really beautiful. They also make great gifts if you want to separate them and put them in stockings. I just think it's so cute. And I'll link below where you can find it. I highly recommend these blushes. They're really pigmented and they last for hours and hours and hours. Stay tuned for next week when we're going to talk about another one of our favorite five products. Um, make sure that you check out Ashley's video. I'll link that below for you. Um, all of the information on these blushes, as always, will be in my blog. Make sure you subscribe so you can um, see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Of course, if you have any blush suggestions for me, I'd love to hear them below because I'm a blush hoarder. I should have a makeup hoarder in general um, and you'll see that soon with my Sephora VIB haul. Thanks guys. Bye.